okay, this is a um, has a lot of the major lines and, and vertical lines in the hand. I hope you can read these. Um, the lifeline, you can see how it kind of goes around the thinner eminence, uh, kind of curves around. Um, the headline comes, it's a little bit more of a horizontal line. It kind of usually kind of meets the lifeline on the radial edge, uh, just around where the thumb is, between the thumb and the forefinger, index finger is the headline. And then the heart line is, is starts on the ulnar edge and sweeps towards one of these fingers, usually towards the, the index finger or the middle finger. And we're gonna talk about the four types of heart lines, okay? You have the curvy heart lines and you're gonna have a straight heart line. We have a curvy headline, we're gonna have a straight headline. They all reveal a little bit different characteristic, characteristics about the person. Okay, let's, let's move onward here. Okay, major lines, lifeline, headline, and heart line. So let's talk about the lifeline. This is probably the most misunderstood of all the lines. Like I said before, if a palmist uh, saw a short headline, a short lifeline on somebody, that they expected the person to have a short life, and hopefully they. And at times, people would actually tell people that, and uh, not a good idea. It's never really good to talk in terms of of something that's bad. Every line in the hand has a positive and a negative side to it. Okay, so. Um, I just keep that in mind because it can, it's a lot of power you have when you have, or you're able to read somebody's hands, a lot of power you have over somebody. So you got to use that wisely and uh, thoughtfully and and, uh, and consider consider their reaction for sure. So the line, the lifeline is our vitality line. It's, it's our innate immune system. It's how we, resilient we are. Uh, it's how we resist disease. Uh, tells us a little bit more information um, uh, but some traumas, traumas will show up in the uh, life. Traumas will show up in the uh, lifeline. Not only health, uh, sometimes health, a uh, severe health issue could show as a break in, in, a, in the lifeline, uh, or it can be an emotional, really strong emotional uh, issue that may have happened that was a challenge in your life. That can also cause a break in a line, and in particular in the lifeline. Okay, it also is our family line. Uh, and I'll talk about that in a second. Um, but as I mentioned, it does not reveal how long you're going to live. Okay. So if you have a, a short, you're in the audience, you have a short, a short lifeline. Uh, don't be concerned at all. Okay. So I'm just showing a, a strong lifeline. You can, you can see how it sweeps around the thinner eminence. Um, nice and clear. Uh, nothing breaking it. No bubbles in it. Um, that's a pretty, pretty nice uh, nicely shaped lifeline. Okay, here is a weak lifeline. You can see how it kind of peters out there. It goes about halfway down and it kind of fades away. Okay. It actually looks like it has a little bit of a break in it also. And you can see the arrow pointing to where, where the kind of the end point is. And here's a, sometimes a lifeline will, will have a little, they call it a sister line. That's a doubling of the line. It actually adds a little bit of oomph to a, to a lifeline, a little bit more uh, strength to the lifeline. It's a little bit stronger immune system. Um, if you are attacked, you have a little bit of reserve. Okay, so you'll see sister lines uh, a fair amount of the time. Again, another short lifeline here. A little bit of a break. Okay, so let's talk about um, what this actually means. Okay, when you have any damage to a to a lifeline, the lifeline is our um, it's our root chakra, um, it's our anchor, it's it's um, it's kind of tells us if our safety needs are being met. Okay. Uh, what really happens usually happens if a person has either a short lifeline or a broken lifeline, they tend to feel like they have to do more. They're, they they always feel like they have to keep working, work, 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 work. Usually, when we go through life, we have a, kind of a, a three step process. We we do something, we get some kind of a result, positive or negative, and then we rest. Well, people with a short lifeline 
don't do adequate rest. They feel like they have to keep doing, keep doing, or their 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 life's in jeopardy in some way, that their safety is in jeopardy, that they need to do more. So it 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 really deals with one's core survival uh, instincts, their issues. So you know whether they have you know food, shelter, uh, money, um, those type of issues tend to become come to the forefront on people that have uh, weak or broken, short lifelines. Okay, those are the issues you're going to see mostly with with lifeline.